वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट एस द क्वेश्चन विच यू आर ऑन सैटरडे दैट इज सिक्सटींथ में एंड देर फोर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर्स द क्वेश्चन एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज आकाश अग्रवाल एंड इज आस्किंग दैट वाई वी कॉल एक्सेलरेशन एज वेलोसिटी पर यूनिट टाइम दैर इज चेंज इन वेलोसिटी पर यूनिट टाइम नॉट चेंज इन स्पीड पर यूनिट टाइम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शूड अंडरस्टैंड दैट एक्चुअली वेलोसिटी इज अ स्पीड इन द स्पेसिफाइड डायरेक्शन ओके एंड वी आर सेंग दैट एक्सलरेशन इज वी माइनस यू अपॉन टी ओके सो देर इज अ चेंज इन वेलॉसिटी एंड इफ वेलॉसिटी इज चेंजिंग दैट मीन्स द स्पीड इज चेंजिंग और आज द डायरेक्शन इज चेंजिंग ओके दैट मीन्स इफ अ बॉडी इज ट्रेवलिंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन दैट मीन्स इफ अ बॉडी इज ट्रेवलिंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके दर इज नो चेंज इन डायरेक्शन एंड देर इज ओनली चेंज इन द स्पीड विच कैन चेंज द वेलॉसिटी Okay, so whether we call it velocity or speed, there's no not a very big uh, big difference. We can uh, uh, if a speed is changing in a particular in a straight line, then also the acceleration can be produced because of the change in speed. Okay, I think you must be clear with this question. Next one is Yashwardhan. He is asking that why we call meter per second square. What what does this meter per second square mean? See, first of all, we should know that meter per second is made up of we know that acceleration is velocity upon time as i have written above so velocity is we know that meter per second and time is second okay so per second velocity is changing either it is increasing or decreasing that is why we call it meter per second square that means meter in every second a certain velocity is चेंजिंग हर सेकेंड में वेलोसिटी इंक्रीज हो रही है या डिक्रीज होती है वेदर एक्सलेटिंग और रिटार्डिंग दैट इज वाई वी कॉल इट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एंड वी नो दैट द वेलोसिटी इज मेड अप ऑफ इज वेलोसिटी का फॉर्मला होता है डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम सो मीटर इज डिस्टेंस एंड दिस इज टाइम ओके सो एवरी एवरी सेकेंड दर इज अटन चेंज इन वेलॉसिटी इंक्रीज इन वेलॉसिटी और डिक्रीज इन वेलॉसिटी दैट विल बी नोन एज मीटर पर सेकेंड विच इज ऑफ विच इज दूनिट ऑफ एक्सलेशन so next question is asked by bhavya agrawal and is uh, and she is asking that uh, why we called velocity uh, when can be velocity be zero so bhavya you know that velocity is displacement upon time okay so what is the displacement you know displacement if the displacement will be zero then the velocity can also be zero and you know various cases i have been taught you in which the displacement is zero when the initial and final position both become the same in that case the displacement become zero and this velocity will then velocity will also be zero in the board example of board i have also explained when the board is traveling from east direction and uh, towards east direction and when when it was falling downwards uh, so in that case the velocity was zero okay so let me show you uh, i thought Here, see, here velocity towards east is zero. You can see the board is initially traveling towards east, but right now board is traveling towards south. That means in towards east there is no displacement. That is why the velocity of the board will be zero in this case. Okay. And the last question is asked by Arjun Astogi. So let us see average speed. So Arjun Astogi, average speed is we know that that is total distance traveled upon total time taken. So I told you here is an example of a father and a son. They they both were running, and we have to predict that who is running faster. But the father reached earlier. But in this figure, we can see that the boy is running. The son is uh, running faster. It looks it seems as if the son is running faster. Okay, at some interval of time, whether the father whether the father will be running faster or the son will be running faster, we can't uh, predict that who is actually running faster. We can only find out by with the help of average speed. similarly is the case of a motorcycle or a cycle okay if both are uh, both are uh, moving uh, initially we will consider that as if the motorcycle is running fast but uh, sometimes when the motorcycle uh, dr driver uh, rider reduces the speed of the motorcycle that th then it seems that the cycle is running faster okay so we can't predict we have to for that we have to use average speed and we will calculate the total distance traveled by both the vehicles and upon the time taken by each vehicle and that by this we will calculate the average speed which is s by t and we use the meter per second for its unit okay so i explain you with example and thank you students uh, and keep on asking your questions 
clear doubts okay thank you very much